Well, here we are again with the Handsbury Handspad tablet running uh, Honeycomb. Um, and I'd like to show you um, a couple of things uh, today. Um, I'm going to show you the browsing, but also I'm going to show you some of the media functions. So let's... Uh, I've installed an application here called Mobo Player. So if we go to that first of all, um, where I've actually uploaded a few videos onto the uh, tablet, into the memory, which is, there's 16 gigs of memory on these tablets. So let's go to the video uh, option here. And in there we can see we've got basically three episodes of 24, uh, an episode of The Inbetweeners and an episode of White Collar. Um, so, just to show you what it's like, let's have a look at uh, one of the episodes of 24 here. 9% of Los Angeles County will be affected. It's over a million people. So, you can see it's got the bar along the bottom. If I actually click in there, it just goes to the normal full screen. Um, the only downside is you don't actually get rid... And this is, this is a honeycomb issue, not a tablet issue. You always have this bar at the bottom. There's actually no way to hide it, unfortunately. But as you can see, the quality is great. Uh, the video playing is smooth, um, and that's a video from the tablet itself, obviously, which I've I've loaded onto it. Um, let's just uh, come out of that. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just go to the uh, ES File Explorer here, um, and this is. Uh, the directory uh, is similar to your Windows Explorer this um, but up here I can actually change click on local and oops, and change it to LAN it actually shows something there which is called link station which is a shortcut I've created to my network storage drive so if I click on that it takes me to my uh, network drive where I have various uh, folders. I've got one here called TV where I've got downloaded TV shows. So what we can do is we can actually try playing something uh, from here. So if we go to House MD, oops, let's go back. Um, House MD, um, and well, let's go to Season Six and one of the episodes and you can see it's now opening in mobile player automatically and here it is this bagels is hard as a hockey puck don't eat it, it used to be a full breakfast service they're trying to starve now us. you can actually adjust the brightness up and down here I got seven scenes to shoot today. and you can adjust the volume up and down here it is what it is. Gonna fail just by swiping on the screen that's a feature of mobile player uh, so, in fact, let's just put the volume down a bit. Well, completely. <laughs> Unfortunately, the screen is does appear to be reflecting, but that's uh, it's the camera picking up the reflections. Um, if you're looking directly at the screen, you're not actually seeing these uh, these reflected pictures. Um, the camera's overly sensitive to that. Okay, so let's uh, come out of there. Um, and we'll look at the browsing now. So I've got Opera Mobile installed, which is uh, it works really well with Flash, uh, which some of the other browsers don't actually work with Flash. So uh, if I just go to the start page here, you can see you can set up you set up these nine shortcuts on the start page. Um, it, it's just a feature of Opera. That's how it works. Um, I haven't quite figured out all the details of Opera. I've only been using it for a short time. Um, but if we go to Google, um, you see you've got your standard classic Google search there. And let's uh, let's actually search for something. So we click in the box. Up comes the the keyboard, and the keyboard's pretty responsive as well. Um, let's search for uh, Ferrari. F E R R A R I, and you can see here it's actually coming up already with with suggestions. So press enter, and then click 
the search button and as, just, as I said it's already actually come up with a list of stuff um, you can scroll through it uh, let's go to Ferrari Owners Club and see what's on there okay uh, a nice little website here probably better if I go to actually a, a news site or something like that so let's just go back and go to BBC News which seems to be a little slow tonight here we go so you can see all the bad news here on on BBC uh, again scrolling is smooth uh, you can zoom in and zoom out in the same way as you do with the iPad by pinching uh, the screen and expanding the screen like that totally uh, intuitive uh, let's follow one of the links so we've got a story here on the shares um, again very easy to read um, we can zoom in make it easier to read uh, you can of course uh, rotate the screen so you can view it like that um, but I think it's easier on the on this way round okay um, and I'll, what I'll do now is I'll show you uh, a news app that I've got which is called News360 and that's this target looking icon here and I click on there this basically gets a lot of the news from from different sites um, it gives you the main stories uh, you have a top stories here latest news world US etc so there are various options but as you can see you've got all the stories here so um, you can just uh, pick up a story and, and read it or you can actually uh, go to this thing here called 360 view which gives you oh no images in this category hold on okay um, that's because I'm in top stories if I go to world and then click on 360 view you'll see what it does is it, it picks up a lot of images from um, from various news stories so you can you can scroll through them and see if there's anything that takes a fancy and you you know you might pick up stories that you've missed um, so uh, there's one here with a um, a road sign with a kangaroo on it so let's have a look at that if I click on that it actually says Samsung attacks Apple in Australia and it's from CNET so um, let's have a quick look at that so we click on read more here and what it does is load the story and it gives you a, a quick summary of the story while it loads the website and then if you click just below here um, it actually opens up the website where the original story is so then you can read it in full and this is CNET tends to be a site that's easier to read with the tablet on its side like this um, you can double click there and it will bring it up um, it highlights certain words and phrases as well um, which is quite handy um, you've got there for example Samsung Galaxy um, so if we click on that what it does is it actually takes us to a little bit of information about Samsung Galaxy and also other stories with Samsung Galaxy mentioned um, so you've got a multitude of options there let's just go let's just turn this back the other way up and uh, just press back over here and back again and back again and that takes us back to the pictures and we can continue to scroll through or we can go back again to get to the normal view okay um, so that's that's one of the news apps rather a good one I think um, so if we come back to the main page here okay so let's um, let's have a quick look at Google Maps which again you can't get on the stock um, on the stock ROM um, 
But as you see here, it's it's pretty responsive again. Um, let's uh, let's have a look at Scotland. Let's go to Aberdeen. Okay, so we've now arrived in Aberdeen. Um, you can click and hold, and it will bring up um, a little information thing which you click on, and then you can click on Street View, and it will take you into Street View. And you can turn around, and you can use the little man here to drag up there, and the camera will move effectively and super responsive very easy to uh, to use so this is a street in Aberdeen a um, couple of people sitting on a wall there so so that's just a little demonstration of some of the extra stuff that you can do uh, with browsing news etc um, I hope uh, and of course the um, the media application streaming videos uh, from a network drive and also watching videos on the tablet itself so I hope it's been uh, useful for you um, uh, if you do go ahead and uh, get one of these um, and upgrade it to honeycomb as you can see it's it's pretty good um, so I'll speak to you next time bye for now